Well, hey kids, uh, this is my first attempt at doing a uh, lesson with the uh, GoPro. And uh, so I wanted to talk to you guys. Uh, we're getting into geometry now. And uh, so a lot of this is going to be review, but these are going to be terms that you're really going to have to know and be very, very uh, uh, fluent in uh, utilizing certain terminology and some uh, basic concepts of geometry so that we can delve deeper into angles and uh, things of that nature. So what we want to start with today is just a basic review of some things you should have learned in third grade, but it's probably been a while since you talked about them. That's cool. We're just going to go over this stuff and make sure we know these terms. So the first term that we're going to talk about is a point. Okay. Now a point is only a location. It has no value to it whatsoever. It's not, um, uh, you can't measure a point. It's just a location. And because it is zero dimensional, it, it isn't measurable, right? All right, so a point is represented by a dot. But a point is not a dot. They're not the same thing. So um, a point, is a location, that point is right there. And I can name a point so that I can know which point I'm talking about. So I'm gonna call that point A, okay? Now, if you think about a point as being a location, if you string a bunch of points together, it will move in a single direction. So I'll put another point over here, and that is point B. Now, a group of points that are all put together like this is called a line, okay? And uh, it's an old adage that the, uh, the uh, shortest distance between two points is a straight line. So, a line is just a direction, right? And the definition of a line is, is that it has no beginning and no ending, okay? So a line has no beginning and no ending, and these arrows at either point indicate that it's a line. So you could call this, you could call this line AB, and that's exactly what we call it. And we write it like this. You write an A and a B, and then you write a line above it, and the line has arrows on both sides to indicate that it's a line. I know that you guys, and most of you already know this, but it's good to review these things. Okay, so we talked about line. Now let's talk about what happens if we only look at part of that line. So if I have a line right here, and it has a point A and a point B, and there's an arrow on only one side. What that means is this has a starting point but no ending point. And that is called a ray. Now a ray moves like a line. It's a series of points. It moves in one direction. But again, it has a starting point but it has no ending point. And a ray, this ray can be called ray AB, and the symbol for ray AB is above the AB you draw a ray. Has no beginning point, but it does uh, has has a beginning point but no ending point. Sorry about that. So that is ray AB. Now, the next thing to talk about is part of a line which is called a line segment. And the word segment means part. So it's part of the line, okay? It has a beginning point and an ending point. That can be measured. That's a one-dimensional direction that you can measure. Uh, we measure in inches, feet, miles, yards, or millimeters, centimeters, meters, kilometers, if we're using the metric system, but it can be measured. This is called a line 
segment and this line segment could be identified as line segment AB, line segment AB. So, so far we have talked about a point, which is not a dot, it's a point, a line, a ray, and a line segment. It is very important that you can identify the differences between these things that you have this terminology. We're going to get into angles next, but this is point, line, ray, and line segment. And it doesn't have to be AB. It won't always be AB. Uh, it could easily be line C, D. And it doesn't always have to be in that order. It could be line C, R, right? We're just labeling points. And when we start to look at more complex geometric shapes, that'll be very, very important, okay? So these are our terms that we need to learn. Point, line, sorry, point, line, ray, and line segment. We need to know the difference, okay? So if I write uh, D, E, and put this symbol over it, what does that mean? Correct, line segment. I'm assuming you got it correct. This is a one-way teaching lesson, so how would I know if you got it correct? All right, if, I, uh, if you saw F, G with this over it, what would that be? Correct, that would be a line. Remember, a line has no beginning and no ending, so we use arrows on both sides. If I had, uh, let's say, M, N with that one arrow, that would be a ray. A ray, okay? All right, so those are the terms that we really need to know. We're going to obviously build on that quite a bit. But for now, point, line, ray, and line segment are the ones we really have to have a handle on.